Welcome back. Now, former presidential candidate Dr. Jeff Kaluuya has urged the government of funding the housing program instead of taxing formerly employed Kenyans through the housing levy. Dr. Kaluuya further said that the government should refund Kenyans in the event that the superior courts find that the housing levy is unconstitutional as determined by the High Court in November last year. This comes amid ongoing public participation on the housing program in several parts of the country that is being conducted by the National Assembly. I believe a government agency, which is uh, a housing authority that can be funded by the government to guarantee the loans given by the banks, and therefore the money can be applied for with minimal challenges and barriers to own a home. But you cannot force people to own a home. Some people don't want to own a home. Quite frankly, there are many people who don't believe in, own, in home ownership. Who said that home ownership is a destination? Some people don't because they have other strategies to do it. So rule of the law, it should be independent. It is not a contributory factor to the manifesto of KK. The KK now needs to find another way. If they still want it, I encourage them. Housing, the concept itself is a good con concept, but how to operate it, to make it operational, is where the challenge is. And I believe they need to go back to the people to see what they want. They need to repackage it. They need to follow orders of the judiciary. They must follow orders of the judiciary. Orders are orders. Otherwise, we, will, we run into anarchy. Now, rice production at the Moa irrigation scheme is set to increase to 160,000 metric tons this season, up from 120,000.